Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about some big money bolos. One of them sold for $2,500, but it's a little bit questionable. And I'm going to have to go back and blur out some of this video. I'm going to have to do some edits and you're going to see why. And we're going to talk about it more when we get to this item. But there are some great bolos that were shared by Bolo Buddies Facebook group members. I post this in my Facebook group and invite everyone to share a bolo. If you share a bolo under the post, it's at the top under the featured announcements section. Just look for the monthly post. Be sure to shout out your social media. If you have like a YouTube channel, sell on whatnot, um, any selling platform, you can put that in the comments and I will uh, shout it out when I read your info. So you're going to tell me where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for. And then I'm going to feature it in a video like this, which is what you're going to see right now. The first item is this Coach Denim Signature Clio Shoulder Bag. Sold this Coach Bag on Poshmark on the seventh day. So it was listed for a week for $135. Uh, looks like with a 202 discount, $105.98 after discount and fees was priced at $150. Paid $10 at a rummage sale on July 5th. Didn't have any service to check comps. Glad I took a chance on it, even though it is missing cross body strap. Get great condition otherwise. All right. The next item is this rare early Buco Joseph. Don't know how to say that. Detroit Harley Indian Motorcycle Kidney Belt. Look at this thing, guys. That is massive, right? Wow. Found this amazing vintage biker kidney belt at an estate sale of a local businessman who did custom t-shirt printing and leather sales. Always pick up leather. It's usually worth something, and I figured this might be worth a few bucks. Paid 30 for a pile of stuff. Had around $2 into this. How on earth did they get this for $2? Wow. Had it listed for about two weeks at $289 and took an offer for $225. Been back to the sale multiple times. eBay store is AP Thrift Machine. Yeah, what a fabulous find that is. Paid a dollar. One dollar. I had seen on the Bolo page. It had crazy stats too. The most popular item I have ever sold by far. It is a vintage igloo little cool rest console cooler. So I think this goes on your car in the middle, you know, like as a console. Isn't that cute? 130 bucks. Somebody else wrote, I found a brown lidded one of these at the Goodwill for $4.99 and sold that bad boy for $170 on Mercari. Says, now I am on the lookout for these all the time. Very good find. This one says, it's a vintage King Charles Spaniel dog needlepoint. Uh, let's see, said they sold in three days, ended up taking 20 off of the original price, but I had them priced up for the sale. I like to run anyways. I bought both of them at the same yard sale for a dollar each. So they are stockings with dogs on them. And it looks like they're already, um, it's not a kit. They're already complete. So you can sell complete and incomplete. The kits do well. Also stockings are always a hit. Uh, resistal black gold 20 X beaver fur felt cowboy hat, men's size seven. Doesn't have to be old to be valuable. Picked it up for 20 at a garage sale. Not my best flip this year, but by far the best one for August. Sold it for $325. And he said, okay, it does say in the title with box. This is a hydroxetone AMPM anti-wrinkle cream. SPF 15 broad spectrum new old stock a thrifted spirit. Now it does say new old stock. So I'm guessing it's discontinued. It says, I've been waiting to share this one, bought 17 at an estate sale in February, and they only charged me for 16, which was good because one was bad when the buyer got it. I shut off offers and only did 5% when someone watched. After all the fees, shipping, etc., profited about 60 per item, sold the last one a few minutes few minutes ago, Thrifted Spirit on eBay Mercari District. And um, the one thing I will say about face creams, they cannot be expired. You have to make sure they're not expired 
and that they've never been used. That's for makeup and um, creams, perfumes. They have to be new. All right. The next one is a box. It's a 1985 vintage NES Nintendo Deluxe set Rob Robot box only, guys. This is from Peg City Flips. First time post a new ad from Canada. I got this free to me when I worked for a junk removal company. It was full of old video game consoles, games, and controllers. Sold all the gaming stuff locally for $120 and just sold the box on eBay for a best offer of $100 plus shipping. That is awesome. Peg City Flips on eBay and Poshmark. All right, the next one, I'm going to blur it out, guys. I'm going to blur it out. It is Anna Neeson, Broadway star, 1890s, antique French bisque, Poupe, P-O-U-P-E-E, -E -E, Deluxe, R. Heron. So here's the thing with this one. It is a nude on the top. As you can see, I've got it blurred out. I don't know if there's rules on eBay for posting something like this or not. I would double check. I know a lot of times people will post nude postcards and I think those get removed and taken down, but I'm not 100% sure. Obviously his did not get taken down. He paid $25 for this at an estate sale and took a best offer of $2,500. So this is an antique. It is collectible. Uh, it's artwork. So maybe this bypasses the nudity rule because it's not actually a nude. But because of how it looks, I would be careful with this one. I would check into it. I would check with eBay. Again, it looks like he didn't have any problem. I don't know how long it was up. Maybe if it's artwork, it's fine. If anybody knows the answer to this question, please put it in the comments. I just uh, want to make sure I mention this so somebody doesn't go and list something like this, have it get removed, and then be upset because it got removed. All right? So definitely a big money bolo, $25 into $2,500. That is an amazing return. This one is an 84-piece Royal Crest and other sterling silver flatware. This story is fantastic. Savers buy, kind of like a Goodwill, $8 Tupperware with clear sides. Sat in the store for three days. Top was open. Several dealers I know glanced at it, and all ever, anyone saw was the 10 silver-plated pieces on top. No one dug to the last layer. 4.5 pounds of sterling, not counting the weighted butter knives, took an offer of $17.50. So my question is, how did he know it was listed for or at the store for three days? I wonder if he looked in it and then only saw the ones on the top and didn't look to the bottom. But when he went back on day three, he said, hmm, maybe I'll look inside and just make sure there's nothing special in there. That must have been a big tote. What a fabulous find. This is a Mattel Barbie Dolls of the World, Amazonia. Bought this Barbie at the Goodwill for $2, had it listed for $84.95, and sent out an offer to the 11 watchers after about a week. $64.95 plus shipping, and it was accepted in just a few hours. Addicted to PQRS is the eBay store. The next item, oh my goodness, paid $10 and sold for $700. Wow. Best offer. $700. Uh, Yohi Fukadua. <laughs> you guys will have to look at the picture for the spelling. I have never seen this brand before, but it is obviously big money. These are men's Oxford shoes. That is fabulous, right? This is a Little Big Planet Sackboy PlayStation 3 plush. It says, purchased at the Goodwill for $1.99 and was so excited because never seen one before and was familiar with the video game character because she used to play it with her kids. Priced it high because of the age and rarity and kind of she kind of wanted to keep it. Sold for $69.95 and buyer paid shipping. eBay store is CR plush and stuff. What do you guys think? It's just a little guy. Just a little guy. Now, this story is awesome. I found three boxes of teen celebrity magazines from the 80s and 90s at a garage sale. Teen Beat, Super Teen, Bop, etc. They had a $5 price tag on each box, so I bought all three for $15. This was the highest selling one so far, as values vary. I've sold nine, um, have others listed, and plenty more to list. So she sold nine so far for $243.50. She said they're selling fast. 
She said, I just picked up the boxes on August 3rd. eBay stores needle in, hay needle in a haystack treasures. She said, I'm editing an update. As of 831.24, I've sold 23 of the magazines for a total of $792.60. There are still many available and many more to list. Not bad for a $15 investment. Wow. Wow. And more wow. That is crazy, guys. Uh, Super Teen Photo Album Magazine. Issue number nine. This one has Matt Dillon on the top. Is that fabulous? Would you guys have picked up those magazines or would you have just left them behind? Do you guys hear that beeping? So I sell on Whatnot and I had a watch show the other night and I sold most of them, but there was one that was new old stock and I think it's sitting right over there beeping at me right now. <laughs> um, if you guys are not following me on Whatnot, come hang out. It's so fun. It's like a live show. I dig through jewelry. Um, I actually scheduled a Monster High show. My husband went to a garage sale and picked up all these Monster High things, brought them home. I don't even remember what he paid for them, but he said to me, this is the stuff you want me to pick up, right? And this is back when I was doing a lot of toys. And I said, yeah, they've been sitting in the garage. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to sort through this. So I sorted through it. I separated the dolls and I separated all the clothing and shoes. I've even got pets. So I'm kind of interested to see how this show goes. I do mostly jewelry, but trying to branch out and do some other things. I'm going to do another uh, Goodwill Bins, the lost footage. So that's when I lost all of that video footage. And um, I never listed the items. I threw them in totes in my basement. So they've probably been sitting down here for about two years. I'm going to take all those items, dump them in a tote, grab and sell style, and we are going to sell it. It's going to be fun. I did a lot of these about probably eight or nine months ago, maybe 10 months ago. Uh, it may have been last year, but uh, all of the shows were super fun and successful. So lots of fun items that I picked up at the Goodwill bins. So come join me on whatnot. You can get $15 to shop with my referral link down below. I'm Bolo Buddies over there if you're already on whatnot, but grab that link and get 15, $15 free money. You don't have to spend that with me. You can spend it with anyone. But I would love to uh, see you guys in a show, even if you just hang out and don't buy. It's super, super fun. But uh, yeah, so lots of entertain entertainment coming your way. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.